The greatest test may not come from the path we travel to success. The greatest test is what do we do with success once we find it? Whenever you choose to chase after something new, just remember that it's supposed to be intimidating. You're supposed to feel anxiety and doubt your ability to make it happen. Because when you live outside your comfort zone, that's where growth takes place. You might not be qualified yet, but that doesn't invalidate the idea that eventually you can be. So challenge yourself, learn, make mistakes, just get started. But whatever you do, keep going. The fruit of everything good in life begins with a challenge. Everything is a pill that's worthwhile. And this, it's not going to come to you, and it's not going to fall in your lap, and it's not going to be something that, oh my gosh, I, it just was so simple. It's always going to be difficult. And for many of you, this is your chance. This is your shot. This is your moment. This is your time. This is your opportunity. This is your place for you to really begin to live an intentional life. Times where you're going to have to do it alone. There's not going to be any team support. There's not going to be any family support. There's not going to be any friend support. There's going to be times where you've got to go and do it yourself and you got to do it alone. And those are the times that make a difference. Those are the times that count. Those are the times where you have to dig deep yourself to get the job done. And if you can make that happen, you will win. Oh, never let no anybody Anybody take your belief in yourself away from you because they hurt inside. Don't you never let nobody do that. Always believe in who you are in the darkest moments, man. In the darkest moments, when you're at that pain, when you're at the bottom, know that you're going to get back up. And you got to believe that you're going to get back up. The whole process of success requires you to fail over and over and over again. There is no book, there is no course, there is no guru, there is no television show, there is no college education that can teach you what you will learn from the failures that you have. The biggest inspirations that you know have had the most failures. They have made the most mistakes. They have up more than anybody else. You realize that you didn't win the championship on that day. You won a championship that day when you got up, getting on the treadmill, repeating those boring old habits every single day, performing your craft. That's when you became a champion. Progress comes with a price. It's not just enough to want to be better. You have to commit to being better to take advantage of every opportunity. You see, you can't take people to wherever you aren't willing to go. You've got to be willing to get up off the ground. You've got to be willing to break the mold. You've got to be willing to stop the coasting because the coast is clear for someone to grab the reins of greatness. It might as well be you. you got to believe that somehow, no matter what I've gone through, it's making me stronger. It may hurt for the moment, but it makes you stronger. You get back on the bike and you'll find that you can assail, you can surpass, you can accelerate, you can get past the things that happened in your past because it takes something to make you something. But that takes a willingness to go through a fall and realize that every fall must give way to a summer. Your season is coming. Don't throw it away because you experienced a cold winter. I spent so much of my life terrified of what I was going to become and whether I was going to be right here, right now. God, how much time did I waste afraid I wasn't going to be right here, right now? If I could change, the only thing I'd change about my whole life would be fearing less that I wouldn't get right here, the place that I was going anyway. I wouldn't change all the mistakes and mishaps, I needed those, but all the constant worry that I wasn't going to make it, that took me out of enjoying the moment. It took me out of enjoying these experiences, smiling or eating my lunch or doing whatever I was doing. Know your mission, have faith you're going to get there. Wherever you go, it's going to be all right. Just find ways to get out of your head.
I lost my mind and I don't want to find it because I don't want to be like anybody else. I don't want to be like the majority who says nothing is wrong with me, everything's wrong with the world. I want to be like the very few who say, I need to change me so I can change the world. Pessimism, the deadly disease of always looking on the bad side, the problem side, the difficult side, checking all the reasons why it can't be done. The poor pessimist leads an ugly life. It all depends on how you look at it. Our lives are mostly affected by the way we think things are, not the way they are. The way we think they are affects us most. What you're going through right now are preparing you for what it is that you want. Whatever it is in life that you want, the hard times are given to you so that you can grow and so you can get stronger. You cannot be trusted with a lot unless you can be trusted with a little. That's how life is. Everything that you've been praying for, everything that you've asked the universe for is coming to you, but you just have to keep going and go through the hard moments and grow for what you want. And when you get there, you will see that you could not connect the dots looking forward. But you'll see how the struggles were the most important part of the journey to get you to where you wanted to be. We'll never, ever, ever live a life that you're meant to live if you're constantly worried about what other people are thinking. People are gonna be disappointed no matter what you do. Let them. Let them judge, let them be disappointed, let them say what they're gonna say, let them not invite you. Let me live my life. Socrates, he said, an unexamined life is a life not worth living. Examining your own life is self-education. No one can show you these things but yourself. No one can make you realize what you've been chasing but yourself. Who better to convince you than you? If you never examine these beliefs that, that have been handed down to you, from when you were a child. You will just keep chasing them and keep acting in accordance with those beliefs. You know, there are people that would kill to be in your position. Sure, you might not be exactly where you want to be. You might want to be in better shape. You might want to make more money. But there are people that literally can't get out of bed. People confined to the reality that you so willingly choose. They don't get a choice. They don't get a say. Even if they wanted to accomplish the very same thing that you claim you want to accomplish, they can't. And while someone out there is looking at you, thinking they have everything. They can run, they can jump, they can work, they can accomplish, they can do whatever they want to do. Why aren't they choosing to do that? If only I could do that. All of the things that you need to do to move the needle in your life should not be a burden to you. They should be a celebration of your capabilities. Because even though you may not feel like doing them, at least you can do them. It's a lonely journey. You're isolated. Those who used to keep pace with you will fall off. They'll see where their world ends and yours begins. Your ability to suffer, endure, outwork must be greater. You must be willing to extend yourself to the limit with no guarantee of success. Every day, you must ask yourself, did I do enough? So what if you fail? So what if you have to start over? So what if it doesn't work out? Yeah, it's nice when your efforts pay off, but some things are just meant to teach you about the process of hard work. They're meant to humble you with the fact that sometimes you don't get what you want, but you can still be satisfied knowing that you left one less stone unturned. Not everything is supposed to lead to success, so just stay the course. The problem that most people have is they're not connected to themselves. They're too outer directed, they're not inner directed. So what you need to be doing is you need to be looking at yourself, not listening to others, not listening to what's on social media, not listening to what your peers are saying, but listening to yourself, who you are, what really truly excites you. You have to cut out all that other stuff that your parents told you or that other people are telling you. And so you're looking for your childhood again, for that child inside of you that got so excited about those things, but that you forgot. 